Week two edition of the Fordham Football Ram Roundup. Nick DeLuca joined by Fordham head coach Joe Conlin. Coach, a rough second half last time out. What do you take from that game in the second half as a learning experience, but also perhaps draw on some things that you did like from Saturday's outing? Sure. Uh, well, I mean, you can learn from uh, from every game you play, but you know, I think there are some some opportunities missed, um, especially you know, first drive of the second half. You know, we we uh, forced the turnover on the punt. Uh, tremendous hustle play by Tom Callahan recovering that fumble. You know, get the ball kind of in striking distance and just kind of a lack of execution on offense. Missed the block on reverse and, and uh, some other things that, that could have led to points there and put us right back in that in that football game. So it was, uh, you know, the, what you, the positives you take away are tremendous effort by the guys. You know, they really fought. They didn't back down at all. They, they, they played their hearts out. But it was kind of first game lack of execution and some key moments that, that cost us big. Guy who played his heart out, Ryan Greenhagen, an FCS record, 31 tackles. What does that performance say about him? It's, you know, when you coach Ryan, it's kind of the least surprising thing that could happen. He, he gives unbelievable effort every day. Um, as you can see, you know, you can see over my shoulder, he stayed out after every day this week to work on his game, and that's kind of who he is. He plays with tremendous effort. Uh, he prepares uh, as well as any football player I've been around in, in 17 years. So. Um, he's a tremendous player. He's kind of the heart and soul of our, our defense, and uh, he had a great day. You moved from a Power 5 opponent to a Top 20 opponent in the FCS. What makes Monmouth difficult in the challenge? They're, they're extremely well coached. You know, Coach Callahan and, and Coach Bobic, uh, Coach Gallagher, you know, their whole staff's been there for years. Um, they, they play really sound football. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They play really hard. They execute. Uh, they're a really good team. It's going to be a good test. First time you're going to be able to welcome fans back to Jack Coffee Field here since 2019. What are you looking forward to the most playing at home? Yeah, it's playing in front of our fans. Hopefully we get a great student section and, uh, you know, they, there's a lot of guys to cheer for on this team. So hopefully we get a great turnout and it's a lot of fun. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Good luck. On Thank Saturday. you. All right, Ryan, so in your wildest dreams, did you ever think you'd have a 31 tackle game? Uh, I, don't, I don't really usually look at games like that. I think, you know, you take it one play at a time and, you know, the, the goal is to stop it as, as a whole defense, you know, if, if you're doing your, if everybody's doing their job. But um, no, it was, a, it was a cool accomplishment, but I, I got to give a lot of credit to, to the defensive line, uh, the entire defense, to be, to be completely honest. I thought everybody had really great effort. And I mean, those guys up front take on, take on the double teams. They take on a lot of the grunt of it. So a lot of the credit goes to them. Now, was, how much of that was due to preparation? I mean, I'm sure you watched film in Nebraska and knew how they ran. How much, how much of that was preparation? How much was reaction? Uh, I think it's a every play is a little mix of both. You know, you have you pick up on a couple things, you know, before uh, by watching film and stuff like that. But you know, at the end of the day, that's not always what you're thinking on the field. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a mix of both.